Hi guys, this is Marty from Utah Some Performance. Uh, today we did some more dyno testing on our modified kegger. Uh, it runs the VRP plates, it's port matched to the stock heads. Um, and basically what we found out, we also we, uh, ended up changing our cam load uh, to an X profile for the higher lift springs. So basically you're going to have a UTP 500, which is a very smooth ramp for a camshaft. And then there's going to be the X, which is an extreme energy load, which basically lifts the valve open quickly, holds it open longer, and then drops it off fast. But with the X cams, you're going to have to have a better valve spring to run that. And uh, in the case, obviously, we do. We basically have, have run these stock heads as far as we can go. We're not going to really get any more power out of them naturally aspirated, especially up here at this altitude. But uh, our runs before with the original small low lift UTP 500 cam was uh, 400 torque right around there. We were 403 max. We averaged 380, 390. Um, now we're down to about 380. But our horsepower went from uh, what we were making here, 297, 298, uh, 310. So from 4,000 RPM on, we made a big difference um, in how it pulls. We're making more torque and we're making more horsepower from that point on. And this is comparing the kegger to the kegger and uh, not, not the Hughes air gap or anything like that. And a matter of fact, I'll post up the information of how we went with both of those kegger combos, we went above what that Hughes was making. Not to say that that Hughes can't make that power, we obviously can, but the long runners being 18 inches to 16 inches right there have a very quick cylinder fill. And uh, with a heavier truck, that's what we're looking for. Um, so, but today, uh, obviously, um, you know, we didn't get the, the results that we wanted. You know, I wanted to see well over 400. That didn't happen today. Our stock Magnum heads are done. There's really not much more we can get out of those. So I mean, we have really taken those stock Magnum heads and pushed them as far as we can go without touching the insides of them at all. It's a 192 valve, 16250. So I mean, and it just runs a better valve spring, a Mopar 062 valve spring on there. Um, obviously a much better set of heads would be the EQ heads completely worked by Chris at PIE um, or the Edelbrock aluminum heads completely worked by uh, Chris at PIE also and uh, that's what we're going to change to next on this combination um, and also we're going to do our, our throttle body mod everybody's seen the Cobra throttle body that, that we're going to do and uh, I'm, once the milling machine is all set up and everything then we're going to go ahead and uh, set that kegger up for that and see if we can come back and get a little bit more velocity into that manifold than our stock 52 I'm sorry our ported 52 millimeters can get into that intake manifold so we'll keep pushing it and until then just enjoy keep watching uh, whether I waste money make power or lose power today we actually lost torque so but either way I'll take it because it sounds so much better uh, the cam uh, I can I can lose 10, 15 foot pounds of torque and having it sound a whole lot better now with that aggressive ramp lobe on there. So the same thing goes for the UTP 450. We're going to offer a version called the X version uh, stream lobe, uh, which allows us to go from 456 to a 507 lift, which is what's on these X profiles. And um, so you'll be able to run that 450 X with a good set of EQ heads or Eddy heads or Indy Max, whichever you got. So. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this today. I'll post up the numbers and uh, everybody can dissect them for what they're worth. And uh, until then, see you next time.